So one of the main problems I had when I was an architecture student was the lack of time or rather the shortage of time. I was always rushing plates and the reason for this was because drafting takes so gosh darn long. But you know eventually I learned a trick or two that helped me speed up the drafting process. Drafting process. Gosh dang it. Anyways, crappy accent aside, that is what we are going to talk about in today's video. Our 5 tips to speed up your manual drafting time. First tip is to clear your table. This is kind of a no-brainer, but so is not eating fast food. So you know how fast food is bad for you but you still buy it. So it's kind of like that awful analogy. I know that I need to clear my table to draft, but I still start with a messy table so I just shove all my things into one side. And because of this mess, I often hit the items on my table and you know, things fall down and they have to pick it up or I have to look for the things and, and you know it is these tiny little tasks like looking for the things or fixing your things that are around the table that add up and consume a ton of your time. So make sure that you have a separate place for all your things and keep your table as clear as possible. Be minimalist with what is on your table. Second tip is to prep your drafting tools before you even begin mounting your paper onto the desk. So before I start drafting, I usually wipe down my T-square. I, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, I wipe down my T-square and triangles with table napkins soaked with alcohol. So make sure not to use tissue papers for this because that tends to leave some tissue fibers on your drafting tools and that is going to cause the smudging on your paper. Okay, after I wiped down and cleaned all my straight edges, I check if my tech pens have enough ink in them and then I sharpen all my pencils. So I do this because I often get in a groove or like I go into sage mode. Naruto fans know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I get into this zone where I'm super focused and I'm drafting really fast. You know, concentration level 150. And then I run out of ink in one of my tech pens. Now I have to refill it and wipe it and poof, I lost my concentration mode. Now I'm all slow in drafting again and you know it takes a while before I gain momentum and get into the zone again. So yeah, prepare your drafting tools and things before starting. Bonus pro tips. If you are having magic black smudges appear on your paper out of nowhere, it's probably because your T-square or triangles picked up dirt or pencil graphite from your paper. One thing you could do is put some feet on the bottom of your triangles. So to do this, I usually get a piece of cardboard, then stick it under the triangles. If that doesn't work, I usually wipe down my triangles and T-square. And if that still doesn't work, try placing some baby powder on your paper before drafting. The baby powder exorcises the evil spirits leaving in your drafting tools that are causing the evil black smudges on your paper. So this baby powder method was suggested by someone in the comments. This person. So I tried it and so far it works. So if this doesn't work, you guys can blame this guy or girl. Just kidding, don't. If, you, if this fails, blame, blame yourself. You probably didn't put enough baby powder. So if all else fails, just add more baby powder. Okay, before we move on to our third useful tip, I would like to thank iTube Studio for sponsoring this video. Without them, this video would not be possible because I would be out there washing dishes just to be able to pay for the electricity bill for all these colorful lights behind me. Who oh, am I kidding, man? The, the electricity is free. I'm so pathetic. <laughs> Jokes aside, iTube Studio is a wonderful Swiss Army Knife software that can do a ton of things like downloading videos from over 10,000 websites like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Dailymotion, and a ton more. So you guys can download my videos from YouTube and watch them while you're on your daily commute. Or you know, show them to your classmates. I doubt it that you guys would do that, but you know, it was worth a try. Anyways, iTube Studio can also convert videos from all sorts of media files. So gone are the days where you can't play a video cause it's in some weird MKV, whatever format. You know, just convert it with iTube Studio and watch away. You could also download and convert YouTube videos to high quality audio files and transfer it seamlessly to your Android or iOS phones. So you can listen to your favorite songs on your phones without having your YouTube application open. So if you guys are interested, I put the links to the iTube Studio software down in the descriptions. So go check them out guys, it's an awesome software. Anyways, let's move on to our third tip which is a tip for inking your plate. When inking your plate, always begin from top to bottom. 
By doing so, you avoid smudging the lines you just inked with your T-square. Also, by going from top to bottom, you avoid unnecessary movements like going back and forth from lines on the bottom of our plate, then going to the top and then the middle. So, you know, those movements accumulate to a ton of time wasted adjusting your T-square and, you know, just, just doing this a lot of time. So, you just do one smooth motion from top to bottom and that's it. Wow! Also, under those same principles, when using your triangles or straight edges, ink from right to left. Of course, if you're right-handed. And if you're left-handed, ink from left to right. So this is to avoid smudging freshly written ink. Also, try your best to avoid going back and forth as this creates unnecessary movement and wastes your time and precious, precious energy. <laughs> Tip number four, arrange your inking order by line weights. So whenever I ink, I usually start with the lightest point first, usually a point two. This way, if I accidentally ink an area that was supposed to be a heavier line weight, then there's no problem because, you know, I just go over it with the heavier line weight that it's supposed to be. So I just ink all the lines that are point two, then I move on to my next line weight, usually a point four, and then a point eight, and so on and so forth. So by inking all your line weights in order from lightest to heaviest line weight, you avoid switching between your tech pens, which wastes a ton of time. And sometimes you even misplace the pen in the process and end up searching for it for like two hours only to discover that you're holding it on this hand all along. By the way, this happened to a friend of mine and definitely not me. Okay, it happened to me. Gosh dang it, why am I so stupid? Also, if you have a tech pen that has those twisty caps that, you know, take forever to remove, then doing this tip will save you a ton of time. And just like that, we are now on our last tip, which is tip number five, which is watch my architecture hacks video. <laughs> I ran out of tips, so yeah, now I'm improvising with this shameless self-promotion thingy. Anyways, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have a ton of architecture hack videos for you guys that could help you in your architecture life. So go check out those videos in my channel video library thingy. And also if you like those videos and this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and join the Archie Squad. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace.